This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube and Toy Reviews on YouTube with the coolest old vintage old school device that's going to change your whole attitude towards Apple's iPods and iPod touches like you'll never believe. And they're iPhones. Wait till you see this. They made a product in the year 2000 called the eBookman. These actually were first dated 1999. This one that I have has literature that's dated 2001 and literature and parts that are dated 2000. So you can see this is from that time period. iPods weren't even introduced until 2001. Mid-2001 is the first iPod. What does that look like to you? Wait a second, let me give you a guess. There is a picture of the eBook man right next to my iPhone. Look at my iPhone, how it's laid out, how it has the home row. Look at the home row down here where you could write. Look at the apps that you could download for this device. Oh, I have the device, I just want you to know. This is an MP3 music player, just like an iPod, except it's better because it has a full interface like this. It's an ebook reader. Think Nook and Kindle, prior art here. Um, you could create art and there's games in this. If you look here, you'll see games. There's gotta be some games mixed up in this. But what I'm getting at is here, this device looks awfully similar to an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Now, here's the on button. It's at the exact same position as an iPhone, so I'm gonna turn this on. Here it comes. Touch the screen now to see the demo in English. So let's see that demo in English. Whoops, slippery little devil. It's hard to see this. Uh, here, there's the lighting. The lighting looks good there. Look at this, eBooks, downloadable text, either portrait or landscape orientation to read, take advantage of the audio features, Listen to audiobooks, play your favorite music, record your voice memos, keep track of people, dates, events, address book, date book, to-do book, memo book. There it goes. Connect to your computer through USB port, synchronize your content in a flash with eBookman Sync. Of course, I don't think that they support this anymore. Store more music, more books, more data, up to 64 meg of memory with a multimedia card, which is missing from this. That's why I can't play all these apps right now. I had a whole pile of apps for this. I don't think that Franklin, if they're still around, even support this device anymore. Now iPod, Apple, iPhone, etc., is suing the crap out of people. And one of the things they're saying is that the back of their device is flat. That's pretty flat to me. I think that device is very similar except in size, don't you? Especially with the configuration of the apps and the appearance of the apps. That's a cover that you could snap on the front of it. There's the little disc that you would download it. Now, <laughs> here's the styluses. It has a stylus and you could actually handwrite there and it would recognize your handwriting. But getting back to something interesting is I have every Hong Kong Enterprise, Taiwan, trader type magazine. This, these are trade publications where people could get products from China and Hong Kong. And these are trade directories. I have thousands of these trade directories for every type of product and good that was sold and made in China in 99, 2000, 2001, etc. Now what's interesting is the Chinese people being the clever little um, emulators that they are liked this ebook man and thought that's a pretty cool device Let, let's let's knock that off and make some different devices that are music players and ebook readers and such and these books at that time period are filled with devices like this some of them that look so much like this device it's scary of course iPhones didn't come out until seven years after the ebook man there's seven years difference between these devices and this still preceded the iPod by, um, how many years did it precede it by? By a year, a year and a half. So this was out way before, but seven years difference before Steve Jobs decided, let's bring out a device with a push button there and with apps like this. So what do you think? Do you think that Steve Jobs might have emulated this? I know they had the DaVinci and the message pad, but man, this device is so similar in appearance, look and feel, it's scary. And this is prior art for so many different features that have been patented in the past decade. It's scary. I have tons more stuff like this. Keep watching my videos on the Toy Channel, Jeepers Media on YouTube, and Toy Reviews on YouTube. And I'm going to place videos up of lots of these old school items for your enjoyment. Don't forget to rate, favorite, subscribe, and share. And um, recommend other types of devices you want me to do reviews for. This could be fun. Let's, come, let's get prior art to get people out of a lot of these patent jams that they're in. Especially things that are dated 2000, 1999, etc. Thanks again.